Okay, so we're going to now pick up where we left off and apply the difference of squares formula. So this is going to be a squared minus b squared. So it's x minus one, which is in the yellow parentheses squared, minus the square root of two squared. And if I simplify that, I'm gonna get x minus one squared minus, now square root of two squared is just two. Okay, so that's where that two comes from. And then I'm gonna foil the x minus one term. So I've got a, on the side, I'm gonna do x minus one, x minus one, that equals x squared minus two x plus one, right? And then we've gotta add the minus two. So that's how we get x squared minus two x minus one, all right? So um, this now, if we go back and figure out what have we been doing, because this problem is so long. Um, remember we got the x cubed factor from the root zero with multiplicity three. We got three minus two as a factor because we knew two thirds was a zero. Um, and so that's our second factor. Then because one plus root two was a factor, we knew its conjugate was a factor. So we used the associative property and the difference of squares and we foiled everything and we got this third factor, okay? Now we're going to do it for the final root. So if we go back here at the top, we can see that the last root is three minus two i over there, okay? Um, so if three minus two i is another, well, it's not a factor, it's a root, um, is another root, right? Then so is its conjugate, three plus two i. So these are conjugate pairs, okay? Now, if we know these are roots, then the, these are the factors, the x minus, okay? These are the factors, even I get mixed up with the language. So the roots are the numbers and the factors are the the x minus the number, okay? So I've got x minus 3 minus 2i and then x minus 3 plus 2i. So 3 minus 2i, 3 plus 2i, okay? All right, now we're going to, just like we did before, right, we use the associative property to obtain the difference of squares. So we're gonna do the same thing with this. We're gonna use the associative property and swap out these parentheses to be in front to surround the x minus three in the yellow parentheses. All right, so now I've got my a minus b, right? And then a plus b over here. So what is a? a is the x minus three in the yellow parentheses and b is the 2i. So now I can say a squared minus b squared is x minus 3 squared minus 2i squared. Remember, i squared is negative 1. And we know that because by definition, i is the square root of negative 1. Okay? So we're going to need to know that because when we square 2i, we're gonna get the four i squared right here. And then we've got to foil out the x minus three, right? You can't just say x squared minus nine. X minus three squared is x minus three times x minus three, which is gonna be x squared minus six x plus nine. So this does not equal x squared minus nine, okay? This is a very common mistake, so be careful with that. And then this negative four i squared is negative four times negative one, because i squared is negative one. So this is gonna be a plus four here. So we combine x minus three squared, which is x squared minus six x plus nine, and then we add up our like terms and we get x squared minus 6x plus 13 um, and just so you know when you do your Junopod test 
my dog's name when I was a child was Max. So you can put that in for your answer and get your extra credit. So um, now we're going to gather all our terms. So this was the last one we got, okay? Um, or all our factors, I should say. So let's scroll back up and review what we did. So we had all our zeros, all our roots of um, some polynomial function that they want us to find out. And we found out that from we've got x cubed as a, um, as a factor. We've got 3x minus 2 as a factor. Um, then we did x squared minus 2 over here. Sorry, x squared minus 2x minus 1 um, that I have circled in yellow right here. This one, that's our third one. And then the fourth one, down, 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 is this one that we just did, okay, with our imaginary roots. So if we combine all four of them, I wrote it here for you, p of x is x squared times 3x minus 2 times x squared minus 2x minus 1 times x squared minus 6x plus 13. And then we've got to do some distributing. And um, hopefully you can keep track of your like terms and add them up, but then we get this crazy polynomial. It has degree 8. Um, and that makes sense because we had a lot of <laughs> roots and we had conjugate roots and we had multiplicity and all so sorts of ha things happening here. So um, we would expect a high degree for this. All right, that's all I've got.